Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I am sharing with you my meatloaf recipe. This I have been making for years. I think it was like 2008. My dad gifted me this Betty, uh, Better Homes and Gardens cookbook for Christmas. And as you can tell, this page, like you can barely even read it because we've gotten so much stuff on it. It's actually ripped out of the cookbook, but somehow I managed to keep it in there. I should probably use those like paper reinforcement things since I have them to fix that. But it's loosely based on this recipe. Uh, most of the time I don't do onions just because I, when I first started making it, I didn't like onions. I have tried it since then with onions. It's good, but I don't usually have onion on hand, which I don't today, so I don't usually include it. But I will sometimes include a little bit of onion powder. So I'm going to share with you what we need. We need some pepper some Italian breadcrumbs, one egg, one pound of ground beef, some parsley, some oregano, and some milk. And then for the sauce that goes on top, we need some brown sugar, some ground mustard, and some ketchup. I'm going to start off by cracking my egg into the bowl and whisking it. And then I'm going to whisk in two thirds of a cup of the breadcrumbs and two thirds of a cup of milk. About an eighth of a teaspoon of fresh cracked black pepper. You could use regular black pepper, it doesn't really matter. I just kind of eyeball this. That looks like enough. And then about half of a tablespoon oregano and half a tablespoon of parsley. I'm also going to sprinkle in just a touch of onion powder, just a little bit of salt. Then I'm going to whisk that together. I have already gone ahead and preheated my oven to 350. This is going to take about an hour to cook once that's all whisked together. This is the messy part. Even though it's messy, I find it easiest to mix the beef in with my hands. So I cut it open and get it in there with my hands. I usually take off my wedding ring for this. I've already done that. All right, once it's all mixed, you're gonna wanna go ahead and press it into your loaf pan. Then you can place your loaf pan in your oven for 45 minutes to an hour on 350 degrees. While that is baking, I'm going to go ahead and make the ketchup mixture for the top. You're gonna use a fourth of a cup of ketchup about two tablespoons of the brown sugar, and about a teaspoon of the ground mustard. But again, I am not measuring it. I've made this recipe so many times, I barely even measure anything at all anymore. And then just give it a good stir. And then we'll just set that aside until our meatloaf is done baking. All right, so the meatloaf just came out of the oven. It is done, and as you can tell, there's a lot of grease in here. Just depends on what kind of meat you use. I used 80-20, so there's quite a bit of grease. And you can either spoon it off or try to pour it off. I am personally gonna try to pour it off. And then I usually kind of dab the top with a paper towel just to get off a little bit more of the grease. And then we're going to take our little sauce mixture and spread it all over the top. And then I'm going to put it back in the oven for another 10 minutes. Once it comes out of the oven after that 10 minutes, I usually let it cool for a few minutes so that it stays together nicely when you cut it. And here it is, served up on a plate. It is our favorite meatloaf recipe. I don't think I've ever had a better meatloaf than this one. And Andy agrees, my dad ate it like back when I first cooked it the first time and he had never had a meatloaf. I'm pretty sure that he liked, he did not like meatloaf, but I told him he had to try it and he liked it. And it's just been a favorite ever since then. 
I'm serving this tonight with some roasted carrots. I'm about to pop these in the oven. And Andy really likes it with mashed potatoes, sometimes rice. Tonight we are actually doing mac and cheese. But yeah, that's it. If you try this recipe, let me know in the comments down below if you like it. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you on the next one. Bye!